Hello everyone! Today I'm going to play a game. It's a very pretty game, as you can see with your eyes. This is not... This is not suitable. But what's this? The power of vision, now we can see. Tick, tick, tick. Now we can jump! The vertical dimension, you are no longer anything worth fearing. Receive a checkpoint. That is good. This game is a bit sparse right now. Let's get that, but we cannot jump high enough. What's over in this direction? More things? Hopefully it's things. The power of hearing. Now we have joyous music. Another secret? Another checkpoint. Now we can die if we want. What's this? The wonder of colors. Now the game is full of color. Isn't that superb? It's a robot. He's flapping his arms around. Critical radiation levels. Please evacuate immediately. No! I'm going to go and discover more checkpoints and leap around with my arms held high in the air. This is a joyous occasion. One must, uh... One must leap with joy into spikes because I missed something that I want to collect. It's probably only a secret, but still, I want to collect it nonetheless. What was it? It was language. Now we can read those signs that are ever so useful. What does this sign say? This is the testing lab. Thank you, Mr. Sign. Let us travel over here. Avoid this block, except don't avoid it. Run right into it. We must go down. But our nameless hero is quite slow, so it might take a while. Let's go down there. We've already been through there. We don't need to go again. Let's go down there. Thank you, Mr. Sign, for spelling your knowledge upon us. Jump around here. Let's jump some more and jump. Jump, jump, jump for joy. Avoid the blocks. What is this? Looks like a chicken. No, it's a dead man. Come up here some more. Jump up the stairs because walking is for jumps. Discover a secret. It's the fifth of the sixteen. Wonder where the rest are. Will I collect them? Perhaps. Now, let's go down some more. Don't walk downstairs. That's for jumps. We've already been through this. Come over here, over here, over the blocks. These blocks, they want to destroy us. They're not our friend. Get out of the checkpoint. Now we can die freely without without fear. Over here. Who's this? There you are. I knew you would come. Do you know who we are? No, I thought so. But you'll discover the truth sooner or later. That guy, he's not hes not the most adept at talking. He asks us, do you know who we are? No, Mr. Guy, I do not have a clue. You're just some guy who looks like me but is wearing a different colored shirt. Let's jump some more. Let's use our new dash power to do some long jumping. To traverse areas that we would not be able to otherwise. We discovered a secret, the 6th of 16th. 16 even. Shall we discover all the secrets? Probably not. Let's dash over this jumpy thing to reach this area over here that we wouldn't have been able to reach otherwise. Go over here, jump some more platforms, jump some more. Thankfully we can jump two blocks high. We are not that limited in our vertical capacity. Let's jump into those spikes just because we can. I think it was this way we were meant to go, so let's, let's continue that pattern. Let's go over here, and let's actually pause while I find out where I was. Well, it didn't take me long to get back to where I was, but we can use our dash powers and our bouncy springs that are just scattered around the area to jump, 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 jump some more over the spikes this time, and continue on this way. We are Red Shirt Man, who likes to leap, leap around the world. These energy blocks, which I shall christen them, are not that friendly. Another dead guy. He doesn't have a face, but who needs a face when you're dead? The spring is not that useful, but it's useful if I face this way and move in this direction. Let's go over this way, avoid the energy blocks, because they're full of energy. Energy that will scatter our atoms and discombobulate us. Past the point where we are fully human. This is a robot, he ran out of energy, he's no longer flapping around, crying about radiation. This robot is also the same, he also ran out of energy. Poor robots, they just need energy. Long, let's dash and jump and move over here and well let's continue this chain of events 
jumping up more. Two high, two pixel high blocks. Except they're not pixels. They're large, large mm, constructs made of a made of a few pixels. Let's go over here. We got the double jump. That should be quite useful in our endeavors. Maybe, perhaps, we will discover the rest of the secrets in this game. Let's travel this way anyway. See what is awaiting us on this side of the level. What is it? It was a dead end. Except, it's not a dead end because we can double jump. We discovered the ninth secret and a checkpoint. Let's hop over these spikes. Let's not fear anything anymore because double jump is a broken ability. This time it was explained as to why we have it, but sometimes it is not. I mean, Scooby-Doo can jump in the air. Of course he can. What need is there to explain why Scooby-Doo can jump a second time in the air? Scooby-Doo could always do that in the cartoons. He was always saying, Yoinks! And jumping twice. Once off the ground and once in mid-air. Because Scooby-Doo is a crazy dog like that. He can talk, and he can jump twice. Once in the ground, and once in mid-air, as we've already previously established. So, with our double jumping powers, we shall attempt to traverse this area, although double jumping will not come in too useful in it. And I'll try again. It's not too far away, is it? No, it's right over here. This might take me a few tries, though. Because I probably need to be able to dash to do it. Um, let's dash and die. I made it! Forgive me if I'm a bit dejected and jaded right now. I have felt the, 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 the telltale flash and tweet tweedle of death a few too many times. One more time can't hurt though. So we can move on, use our new powers to find new items. I don't even remember what I just got, it was probably a secret. So if it was a power I would probably would have uh, realized. So, new powers gives us new opportunities to find new items. So shall we do that? Is this something I can do at this point in time? Can I not jump twice in the air like that? Yes, I can. What is it? A secret. The Giga Pudding's alive. <laughs> so I just want to try and get all the secrets I can. I cannot pass through that door, so I won't be getting that one yet. I'm gonna just move on until I find the next one, because we've seen all this before. This is an area we hadn't explored. Uh, I forget where on the overall map it is though, but yeah, it's another area we haven't explored. What does the sign say? The sign likes tiles. Anyway, uh, can we move this way through the door? No, we cannot. What do we do then? Is a secret to open doors? I mean, I understand being able to see, but open doors is not really a, one of the main five senses. Proper location, sight, hearing, and opening doors. Wait a minute, it is! But, I'm kind of lost right now. I'm kind of stuck also, I mean, am I just supposed to suicide now? Let's do that. Ouch. It was over here. Where the extra... Do oh, and this happens sometimes. Anyway. It was over in this direction. I think. Maybe, maybe I'm telling a lie right now. Yes, it was down there. I'm not sure how I managed to not reach this point before, but... I did it. Uh... But yes, all that's down there is a secret, but still, it's something I want. There's also a power, it looks like. But a power I cannot reach, or cannot find use for at this point in time. Now I'm over here! It's over by this... 
robot that's out of energy. And that other one that's, that's just down there. I will traverse some more areas, dodge some more energy blocks, and maybe I'll actually do it. Uh, if I can figure out the pattern. Oh, I went back here. Back over here. Maybe I'll do it this time. Probably won't. Pattern recognition is not one of my strong suits, obviously. Uh... Nah. I shall come back for that one. Another time. With our new jumping power, we have managed to reach this area, wherever it is. I think it may have been an area that we already had access to, but still... Ah, yes, it was. Would you look at that? It was. I feel slightly foolish now. We're back in the, uh... Overworld, you could call it, I suppose? Is this Escape from the Underworld? Again? For the third time? I know, I'm noticing a trending theme here. Uh, ooh, ah. Spikes are not our friend. So... Let's go... Not jump in the... It's over here where I was looking to go. Can you utilize our double jump? Hop over here. Reach over here using our double jump and our dash. What does it say? It's a restricted area. But we can double jump over here. Get another secret. What does this say? Subject 01 a, 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 a failure. That's almost what it said, but in more meaningful English. Actually, let's say in English. So, more stuff over here. I cannot pass through there. I cannot reach this part. I guess I need more powers to be able to pass through red and yellow doors. More red and yellow doors blocking our path, just above the our old friend the annoying block puzzle. Not puzzle, just avoiding area thing, blah. Uh, oh, we've been here before. See, I know what that's meant to be, it's meant to be a reference to that whole puddy puddy meme thing. But all it reminds me of is that stupid episode of Sabrina the Teenage Witch where she solves some stupid problem that she had that she probably could easily solve by pointing her finger and at it. But um, she solves it with a big flan, which may have been a strange random product placement or it may have just been some weird surreal joke. I'll never know. I discovered another secret if this area looks familiar. I believe if I dash, I reach, well... I'm saying I believe because I can just do it. Um, it's over. Well, it's over here. Anyway, if I get back to where I was before I jump the wrong way on the spring, if I walk onto the spring, it gives me an extra jump. I can double jump over to here and discover the twelfth secret. This part here still isn't really doable. I mean. I can't jump that high, and these things still destroy me. Okay, I was going to attempt to get all the secrets, but I changed my mind. Let us move on this way. I wonder what is over here. Oh, it's a restricted zone. Would you look at that? No visitors allowed. Well, I'm not really a visitor, am I? This robot has also run out of energy, just like the rest. These poor robots, they just... They just can't, can't manage without their coffee or something. You can call me John. Both of us are weapons created by the military. Shocking, isn't it? Sure, John. You don't remember the war, do you? No, John. You want to remember? Take this disc. All right, John. So I'm going to take my revenge. You do that, John. See you, John. I wonder. Could still go through doors. What if I hop over the disc and refuse to take it? It's a secret! It's the 15th! But, let us just take the disc and end this charade. Discover the truth! Discover the fear of death! Discover the chaos of war! Discover the nuclear fallout! Discovered sadness! Discovered pain! 
Discovered solitude, discovered despair, discovered oblivion, discovered evil, discovered darkness, discovered anguish, discovered sorrow, discovered destroy, discovered calamity, the heavens, discovered the fate of mankind. Game over, the end. Discoveries 8 of 9, I believe those are the powers. Secrets 11 out of 16, I believe those were the secrets I was collecting, obviously they are. I died 18 times, I played for an hour. It's the amount of time I devoted to you lot. I tried, I tried my best. Discoverer must be all the powers. Invincibility must be no dying. Collector must mean all the secrets. ABC expert, I do not know. Sprinter must be a speedrun type thing, I don't, I don't know. Well, that was Fate of Mankind. It was a good short OP, one single part, only went over just over 15 minutes. That will do. Not much else to say. See you guys later. Bye.